So if you have a video that you're looking to compress into a smaller file size without losing quality, you're in the right place. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and it's all for free. Let's jump in. So we're gonna need one app for this that's totally free. It's called Handbrake. And if you head over to handbrake.fr, you can download that for free. It's an open source app, so it's, it's always gonna be free. And I'll also put a link in the description so you can just click on that and go directly to this website. And when you land on this website, you'll see a big red download Handbrake and it'll have whatever the newest version is there. In my case, it's 1.9.2. And you just click on that to start the download process. You can see it just automatically opens up. Only takes a few seconds. We'll open this up and double click on that to start installing. Now, in my case, I already have this installed, so it's gonna skip that part. So we're just gonna walk through the setup here. And with that, it is finished. So all you have to do is click Finish. So once you finish walking through the installation process and launching the app, it'll open up like this. Now, now there's a lot of tools that are built into Handbrake, but what we're gonna be focused on today is just compressing a large video file into a smaller file without losing the quality. So you just wanna to navigate to wherever you have that file saved. I have one here, I have a file here that's about 1.2 gigabyte, about three minutes long. And we're just gonna take and drag that over into that window there it's scanning the file it's opening it up there it is there and you can see a preview you can even switch through and see uh, some different images this is from a previous uh, tutorial that i recorded on here now handbrake has a lot of tools and settings and it can be a bit overwhelming so i always recommend sticking with some of the presets to get started which give you a lot of the options that you're looking for and specifically for this to compress the video it's only a few settings that we need to change okay up here it gives you some information about the video we're going to make sure that the preset here is just set to fast 1080p we want to keep it at 1080p resolution but we're going to compress the file size so they have a lot of different options here so that's one option you could change the resolution of it down to 720 or 480 or whatever you want but that is going to lower the quality of the video we're interested in compressing it without lowering the quality so we're going to keep it at fast 1080p then we're going to come down to this summary section and first we want to make sure that the format is mp4 which this video came in at that format, so it's already selecting that. So across the top here, there's a lot of different options and filters that you can put on the video, but what we wanna do is go over to the video tab. And first we wanna make sure that the video encoder is set to H.264. Make sure that you are selecting constant quality. So you can slide this around to different numbers, but what we wanna do is we wanna go, we wanna land at about 23. Now this is a little counterintuitive. The lower the number, the better the quality, but the bigger the file size. So we wanna increase this number here. And you see it gives you a little guideline down here that we go up here. But 23 I found is a good spot. Now you can also adjust the encoder speed if you want. If you go slower, it'll take longer to create, but will create a smaller file. So you can kind of play with that. We're gonna leave it where it is for now but that's another option to get the file even smaller. Now, again, there's a lot of other settings that you could play with, but I found these settings, just tweaking those couple of settings make the biggest result. Now, you have an option up here to click preview, which will just encode a small section so that you can kind of get an idea of what that's gonna look like. So you can kind of scroll through some of the shots to see that there's still really good detail in here and my hair and where the light's hitting, still has kind of a nice clean bokeh effect back there. So you can kind of preview it just to make sure that you haven't changed something that makes it wildly different. Okay, we're gonna close out of that. And then at the bottom, you just wanna select where you want this to go. So we're gonna to go to browse. I want this to go to, let's just put it in my download folder for now. You can also change what happens when it's done. If you want to shut down your computer or sleep it, you know, because sometimes, depending on the file size, it may take a long time to do that. So you can have it do some different operations if you wish. And then all you need to do is hit start encoding up here, big green button, and it'll start doing its work. And then it gives you a little progress bar down here, shows you the percentage that it has done and how much time is remaining. We just have a minute and 48. So we'll let that do its thing. Okay, and once that's finished, you'll see the queue is finished. And then we'll just open up where that file is. 
and we'll take a look at this and the properties. And we are at 37.8 megabyte from the original, which was 1.2 gigabytes. So you can see just a slight tweak to the video really made a huge difference. Now we're gonna open this up to a player here. So this is the original video, okay? Good quality, but large. And we're just gonna open up the new one here. You can see the quality is still there. It's still very high quality, all the details, everything's in there. So we're just gonna open this up. So this is the original, this is the new one. So as you can see, virtually the same quality. It looks identical, the video plays the same, and all we did was compress the file size from 1.2 gigabyte to 37.8 megabyte. And with that, you have now compressed your large video into a small video file size completely free. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.